Forget everything you know about getting old. For centuries, we accepted it. The one thing we knew was unavoidable, death. But what if that wasn't true anymore? What if science found a way to cheat it? Right now, labs aren't just fighting diseases. They're attacking aging itself. They see it like a disease caused by damage piling up in your body, especially in your DNA, your body's instruction manual. And they're using tools that were unthinkable just years ago, tools that can rewrite that manual. The first bombshell, a tool found in tiny bacteria, molecular scissors called CRISPR. We hijacked them. They can snip your DNA like a text editor. And this isn't sci-fi. They're already using it to essentially cure diseases like sickle cell anemia, fixing blindness, turning your own cells into cancer super soldiers. What if you could point those genetic scissors directly at aging? In shocking experiments, scientists used CRISPR-like tech to target aging genes in mice. And the results? Signs of rejuvenation. Lifespan increased by 25%. This was the first proof gene editing could directly slow aging in a living animal. But aging isn't just one gene. It's a complex mess across trillions of cells. How do you find the right fixes? This is where the plot thickens, because CRISPR isn't working alone. Science is bringing in the heavy hitters. First, artificial intelligence. AI is the ultimate genetic designer. Analyzing your DNA, finding the perfect edits, designing them with insane precision. It's like having a supercomputer writing the perfect anti-aging code for you. Next, microscopic machines. Tiny delivery vehicles already used for CRISPR. Nanobots patrolling your body, fixing damage, repairing DNA, cleaning cell by cell. Your personal internal repair crew. Imagine them together. AI designs the fix. Nanotech delivers it precisely. A system designed to constantly prevent and repair age-related damage. This convergence, it pushes science to the edge of the unbelievable. Not just longer lifespan, but maybe biological immortality. Mainstream scientists call true immortality science fiction. They focus on health span. But then, you have visionaries like Ray Kurzweil, who boldly predict that by the 2030s, tech will add more than a year to your life. Every single year. Reaching longevity escape velocity. Meaning, the first human to live to 1,000 years old might be alive today. But are we ready? What if only the ultra-rich can afford it? Does death become a luxury for the poor? And if we can endlessly edit ourselves, what does it even mean to be human anymore? The science is here. It's controversial. It could shatter our oldest limitation. The biggest question isn't if we can challenge aging, but should we? And if we do, who gets to? What do you think? Could we really become immortal? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more mind-blowing science that's changing the future, hit that subscribe button.